There's been a fair bit of chatter on Twitter recently about copying content creators and some people frown upon it and some people think, well, if they're putting content out, you can copy them. Well, I started a series in game week one where you're supposed to copy it. And at the end of the season, hopefully you'll be in the top 5%. So in your mini league, you'll be doing quite well. Top 5%, you might even win it. The way this works is I presented a number of players and different options and you chose from this very small pool of players and as times go by each week, I'll say who the captain, who the vice captain, who your sub should be. And there are three managers I know for sure have been following this and they're all in the top 5%. So it's working well at the moment. Whether we can keep it up or not, I don't know. My personal team's just out, just inside the top 10% because I'm not doing the system myself, but I'm doing something very different. Feel free to follow this. If your team's not like this at the moment, that's okay. In game week 17 after the World Cup, I'll of course be playing a wild card. So you could jump in at that point and then hopefully you'll catch up. So we're going to look at game week 10, how we did using this 5% series and then look at what changes we need to do for game week 11. Starting with the bankers, all teams have got these four players. Ward, James, Martinelli and Haaland. Ward was on the bench, James got one point, Martinelli 12, Haaland 6. Haaland was captain, therefore Haaland got 12 points. So the bankers got 25 points for those three players that you were playing. Keeper, you'd have had one of these keepers, either Ramsdale or Pope. Ramsdale got one, Pope got two. So that was an average of one and a half for the keepers. Defenders, you will have two of these defenders, Trent, Cancelo, Perisic, Trippier. Trent got zero and he went off injured. Cancelo, 18. Perisic 1, Trippier 7. So according to which two you had, you'd have got at least one point at maximum 25. And on average, you'd have got 13 points. Three midfielders. You would have had three of these midfielders. Diaz, Bowen, Foden, Madison, Saka, Zaha. And the points they got were 3, 7, 11, 1, 15, 5. So the worst score you would have got was 9, the best was 33, and on average you would have got 21 points from these. Now Diaz is going to be out for a long time, but we'll get to that shortly when we talk about transfers. Forward, you would have two of these forwards, Jesus, Tony, Mitrovic and Solanke. They scored 5-5, five, five. Mitrovic didn't play an 8. So you'd have got at least 10 points, an average of 12, maximum of 13. If you had Mitrovic, then somebody would have come off the sub bench. We'll look at them shortly. So the subs bench. This is your subs bench. You would have had three of these. And this is the order that you would have had them. So if Gahey come on, he was one point. Justin was one. Andreas six. Williams one. Bailey didn't play. Fafana didn't play. Patterson didn't play. So at the end of game week 10, you'd have got at least 46 points if you had all the worst possible picks. Your average would have been 72 and a half, and I believe the global average was about 58 for game week 10, and you could have got a maximum of 98 points. So like I said earlier on, the three teams that I know are following this, they are in the top 5%. They're all doing very well in their mini leagues, so that's nice to see. I put this in to remind me because I keep forgetting. If you like it, please do subscribe. I've got 145 subscribers at the moment, for which I'm very grateful. And 26 likes from my last video, there were 89 views, so that's around the 30% mark. 30% of people who see the videos say they like it, so that's very nice as well. So please do like and subscribe if you enjoy this sort of stuff. So the transfers for game week 11. If you have Trent, then buy one of these. Get Cancelo or Robertson or Trippier or Perisic. But try to avoid having more than a total of three players from Man City and Arsenal because in game week 12, they're not playing. Of course, you can do whatever you like. It just means you'll be a player down if you do go down that route. I'm saying that because we got Cancelo on the list. Get whichever one of these you want to. It really doesn't matter. If you've got Diaz, transfer him out. If you have Trent and Diaz, transfer them both out. Even though it's going to cost you four points potentially, it's still worth doing because of the points we're going to lose otherwise. So get rid of Diaz. If you've not got Madison, you could get him. You could get Foden. You could get Bowen. You could get Saka, Anthony or Zaha. Any of these six is fine. But like I said before, with Foden and, Foden and Saka, you want to try and avoid having more than three from Man City and Arsenal in total. 
But any of those six, just take your pick, whichever team you like, whoever you fancy, doesn't matter. So the bench, as normal, the way this works, I will say the bench order and the other 11 sort themselves out. So you're going to have Ward on the bench. And then the players I show you now, the first one that comes up that you've got goes in slot number three. And we progress through until you've got slot two and slot one configured, filled up. You shouldn't have more than three of these anyway in your team. So Patterson, he's still out injured. Fafana, he's still injured. Bailey, probably injured. Nico Williams, Gehu for Palace, Justin of Leicester and Andreas for Fulham. Regarding the captain, there are three players I'm going to talk about. Haaland, Saka and Martinelli. As you can see, Haaland's bigger than the rest. He's clearly the best, safest choice anyway. So Haaland gets to wear the old mule hat. Haaland's going to be the captain this week. Even if Saka or Martinelli may do better, Saka, sorry, or Martinelli may do better, Haaland's going to be so highly owned and highly captained. If you don't captain him and he does better than Saka or Martinelli, then you're going to fall a long way behind. So the safe choice is Haaland. Now for vice captain, if you have Saka, I suggest you put the wee mule bonnet on Saka. If you don't have Saka, you will have Martinelli. He can be the vice captain this week. And that's all you have to do for game week 11. Thank you very much for watching. If you are doing this 5% series, I'd be very interested to see how you're doing. Maybe leave a comment. And if you want to leave any general questions as well about the game, I'm happy to try and answer those as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. And this is the second time I'm shooting this because something messed up. I'm not going to say that bit. Cut that bit out.